Hi, my name is Stephanie McHugh, and my hair is flat. Hey, it's me back in Denver at the Toastmasters International Conversation. I'm here with my friend Stephanie McHugh. We're going to talk about humor in speaking. Stephanie is a veteran comedian. And my question for you yes. is, you know, I get talk, a lot of my clients will ask me, hey, how can I be funnier? How can I right. put jokes in speeches? And I say, no, no jokes. I would say, I don't think a lot, your favorite comedian, they're not doing jokes either. Um, we were on a humor call, and yeah. there, Milton, he had a joke about uh, Milton Berle. Milton Berle, yeah, yeah. which I bought, uh, because I like to read jokes, but when, just to get my mind thinking, uh, but when it comes to comedy, whether it's stand-up comedy or You're not the only one especially who speakers, I think it's your own stories. Absolutely. And nice. where's the humor that's already there and punching that up? Exactly. Humor comes from stories. And Michael Haig, who is one of our associate coaches at Stage Time University, who's a Hollywood scriptwriting consultant, taught me something last week. He said, the more serious the problem and the less the characters act, the funnier the scene can be. But that's where it comes from. It's the child who says something on the spur of the moment. Uh, you've got great material about your daughters you tell on stage and some you don't tell on stage because they don't want to hear it. But they're story. <laughs> Girls call me. I got to have stories Here's an example. Okay. Can I share an example? Yeah, so I used to say, you know, now I can travel and do comedy, but there goes my material because my daughters are out of the house. But my dad has Parkinson's, so that's where my new favorite joke is. And also kind of the new pain a little bit. But precious time in my my life. So so there's the story um, about uh, I take him. To, should I go? No, to, into uh, it or by not? all means, do do it. This is about humor. <laughs> I'm like so. No, before, anyway, uh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> before we get into this, keep out. We're not laughing at Parkinson's. Stephanie's dad having Parkinson's is not funny. But what in fact, humor. I would say that's where the pain in my life is right now. Right. So that's where the, the humor is. And so it's not jokes, it's taking that story and how to to twist it to get the humor in there so that it's not pain, Absolutely. but picking up the humor. So exactly. let's, let's hear the humorous okay. part of the story. Uh, my uh, dad has Parkinson's and dementia and he goes to a Parkinson's boxing class and I can take it with him uh, because actually boxing is really good for eye-hand coordination. Sure, yeah. So there is a class for Parkinson's. And at the end, someone came up to my dad and said, Jim, thanks for bringing the eye candy to the Parkinson's boxing class. And I thought, I am the new young hot chick at the Parkinson's <laughs> boxing class. And... Because there's dementia, I'm the new young hot chick every time. So, so that's the joke. It gets a laugh. Yes. But what what happened for me that day that it happened? Like an hour or two afterwards, I thought, "Wow, my dad is a pretty big guy, and no one would have ever come up to him, like even ten years ago, and said something like that about, to him about his daughter. About his daughter. Yeah. So it was a little bit painful that for me to, yeah, but yet sure. again it was kind of I mean I'm like I, I still got it in the Parkinson's boxing <laughs> class go. and I I shared once with a friend and then I went to an open mic okay. and I just try it three times on stage so I'll have uh, my tried and true material if it's, if it's a paid gig before and after so that if it doesn't work then I can just go right back gotcha. into okay. it yeah. and then I'll write it down gotcha. so that's just the process that works for me